Encore brings our Skyline weather camera with us tonight. It's a fair sky. Actually, skies have been clearing out pretty nicely, and, and you're probably going to see plenty of stars out before the evening is over with. But as the skies clear, look for fog to develop late tonight. We'll talk more about that in a second. 86 degrees, warm afternoon, Copper's Cove. We saw Michael Parson checking in with us uh, with a high temperature in the upper 80s today, and the warmest reading we got was in Salado, 95. Our thanks to Tom Breeden on the northwest side of Salado today with his report. Sky clearing along the interstate. We still have some cloud cover out to the west of us. There's shower and thunderstorm activity going on out in the Trans-Pecos area. It's blowing off cloud cover back our way. So you're going to see variable cloud cover through much of the evening, but uh, for the most part, you're going to clear skies out. We'll hang on to a slight chance of a shower in those areas out to the west, getting a little bit of that West Texas action coming in. 68 degrees will be our overnight low, and look for some fog developing in the morning. The atmosphere is going to be very humid, 100% relative humidity, first thing to start the day on Friday. We'll warm up. Skies will clear a bit after the fog. And we'll go about 20% chance of showers tomorrow. Partly sunny skies with a high temperature getting up to around 87 with southeast winds around 5 to 10 miles an hour. Alan Samuels, Sky Live weather camera in clean. Again, skies clearing out 77 degrees right now, 76% relative humidity, high barometer, and climbing up 2991 with an east and southeast wind at 8 miles an hour. That influence of moisture coming in off the Gulf is going to keep rain chances in the picture. Spotty rain showers up and down the I-35 corridor. It's going to warm up to 90 in Austin tomorrow, 88 in San Marcos, and 88 in San Antonio tomorrow. Houston will be looking at moderate to heavy rain at time, it looks like, in southeast Texas with readings getting up into the upper 80s all the way down to the seawall in Galveston. And Dallas-Fort Worth getting pretty good dose of rain tomorrow as well. We could see some heavy rains here, but it doesn't look like it's going to be widespread. Your Channel 6 seven day forecast for your weekends always in view. We're going to go 20% chances of showers tomorrow. Doesn't mean everybody's going to get rain. If you don't, you might get it on Saturday because we're going to go 30% chances then. By Sunday, we have a cool front coming in. Uh, this one has been slow to evolve and push its way towards us, but we'll go about 50% uh, coverage of showers and thunderstorms before the winds shift on Sunday. It doesn't last very long. We keep rain chances around with that thing stalled out across the area into the early part of next week as well. Got the uh, third annual food truck battle coming up on Saturday in Killeen. I'll be one of the judges for that. And got to help out the American Cancer Society with the Cattle Barons Ball Style Show on Tuesday evening at the Convention Center in Waco. Hope you'll come by and show your support for that. I'll be one of the waiters. All right. May I have your order, please? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm practicing. Like a penguin, it'll yes. be great. Thanks, Andy. <laughs> we'll be right back after the break. Stay with us.